Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is June 16th, 2024, and we have a lot to cover. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Apple is facing a proposed class action lawsuit in California, alleging gender pay discrimination. Two long-term employees, Justina Jong and Amina Salgado, claim that Apple has been paying women less than men for similar work. The lawsuit seeks to recover potentially millions in lost wages for over 12,000 current and former female employees in California. The allegations include bias towards male employees in terms of starting salaries and promotions. Jong discovered a significant pay disparity with a male colleague, while Salgado had been aware of the issue for years. Apple has not yet responded to requests for comment on the lawsuit. In a significant move, Apple has announced that it will adopt RCS in iOS 18. This marks the end of the long-standing feature disparity between iMessage and Android. The adoption of RCS will allow iPhone and Android users to send high-resolution pictures and videos, cross-platform read receipts, and typing indicators. However, these features won't be available when iPhone users chat with Android users. The decision to support RCS was influenced by global regulators and competition from other companies. Despite the positive changes, the lack of emphasis on RCS during the announcement has left some feeling disappointed. Apple has introduced Apple Intelligence, an artificial intelligence system designed to enhance the user experience on iPhones, Macs, and iPads. This AI will make Siri smarter, assist in rewriting emails, create new emojis, and generate AI art. However, it will only work on the latest iPhone models, like the iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, and Apple Silicon computers released in 2020 or later. Craig Federighi, Apple's Senior Vice President of Software Engineering, emphasized the importance of on-device processing to protect users' personal data. This move aligns with Apple's commitment to privacy and data security. Apple is facing another lawsuit, this time from a businessman in England. The man is suing Apple for over £5 million after his wife discovered deleted messages he sent to sex workers on their family's iMac. He claims Apple's lack of transparency regarding deleted messages led to his wife filing for divorce. The law firm, representing the businessman, is seeking other Apple customers who have faced similar issues. Apple has been contacted for a comment on the matter. Next-generation Apple CarPlay was announced at WWDC 2022, but there are concerns about whether it will ever be implemented in actual vehicles. Two recent videos from Apple explain the design and architecture of next-gen CarPlay, which involves a co-branded experience with car manufacturers. The design system requires collaboration with Apple designers and the use of specific typefaces. The article suggests that next-gen CarPlay may be too late and complicated to gain traction in the market. Instead, improvements to the existing CarPlay system are proposed. Apple and Google have collaborated to create a new industry specification called Detecting Unwanted Location Trackers for Bluetooth Tracking Devices. This specification will allow users on both iOS and Android devices to receive alerts if an unknown Bluetooth tracking device is detected moving with them. Apple is implementing this feature in iOS 17.5, while Google is launching it on Android 6.0 Plus devices. This initiative aims to address the misuse of tracking devices and enhance user privacy and security across different platforms. Apple employees and shareholders have written an open letter demanding that Apple stop matching employee donations to organizations linked to the Israeli military assault on Gaza and illegal settlement development in the West Bank. The letter, signed by 133 individuals, calls for Apple to investigate and cease matching donations to these organizations. Apple has not responded to requests for comment on this issue. The letter is part of a growing movement within tech companies to address perceived complicity in conflicts like the one in Gaza. Apple recently unveiled its AI strategy at WWDC, showcasing two significant releases, Apple's private cloud compute and Apple's on-device and server foundation models. The latter release includes various models for language tasks, code completion, code generation, and image processing. Apple's on-device language model has approximately 3 billion parameters and is continuously updated with new data. The server model, likely 130 to 180 billion parameters, 
is comparable to GPT-3.5. Apple emphasizes on-device processing and data privacy, highlighting its commitment to user privacy. An artistic collaborative group called Greatest Hits approached Air Aroma to create a unique fragrance for their art exhibition. They wanted the fragrance to capture the scent of opening a new Apple product, specifically a MacBook Pro. The fragrance includes elements like plastic wrap, printed ink, paper, plastic components, and aluminum from the laptop. Air Aroma sourced ingredients from fragrance suppliers in France to create the signature blend fragrance. The final fragrance was then sent back to Australia for the exhibition in Melbourne at West Space. This unique Apple unboxing scent was created exclusively for this exhibition and is not available for purchase. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates on everything Apple. Have a great day.